Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm going to show you those different kind of variables which are there in Game Maker Studio, what their basic purposes and second of all how they are being accessed because there are some differences and some apply some very specific rules which are in the end quite easy to understand once you see them in action and then you can do that for your own game. So this is just for beginners so they understand hey what is the instance variable, what is the difference to a local variable, when is macros or constants, what are those global ones, how can I use them, what are their boundaries and so on and so on. So if you want to know how to well, apply that to your game and understand what they do, stay tuned. This is one up Indie, I am the developer of the Indie game. Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the good stuff. So what I'm gonna show you, basically this our, this will be my uh, hero guy and above his head I will just draw a, a number, a text, so you understand how you can access that stuff. So I just have my room, then I have a uh, the eye of Sauron here, which is just this controller thing. And there I will put in some stuff and he will read it out, which is kind of important. So you see how one instance can access the other's instance. So this guy is accessing from this guy some informations and then just drawing it above its head. So let's kill it for now. And let's start with the easy stuff. So there are a few insta uh, um, variable types. And for example, once you go under help or just help here, open manual, then you type in, let's say for example, macros, you get those things here. And then you see instance variable, local, global, built-in and macros. And from the start, it would be kind of confusing, but they have very specific purposes. And once you do that two or three times, you just you understand how that all works in the end. So let's start with the easiest one, which is the building variable. Building variables, let's say, are always green. This is a building variable. This is a building variable. I don't know, everything which is kind of greenish is a building variable. And these things always come with the instance itself and they define its properties and values and you cannot repurpose them. So for example, this beat cannot be assigned a text, like da -da -da, something like this. This is impossible, that will throw an error because it doesn't work, it needs to have some sort of real number. So this just keep in mind, so these are the things which are pre-made and they have their purposes and therefore you cannot like reassign them, which is kind of possible in other languages, but here, no, 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 it doesn't work. So. Let's go for the second one, the instance variable. Instance variables are bluish, so let's say we have an instance and they say our player has a specific health pool, because health, as you can see, is a green one as well, and then we sign it, I don't know, 100 health points. And if you can see, the number is kind of purplish, bluish, and then you assign it a value and then it sticks around and you have to do that in the create event because, well, if you want to use it in other events, you have to kind of initialize it. So the memory of Game Maker Studio is saying, hey, I want to have some memory allocated to some variables which I want to use in my other events, which can be, I don't know, the step event, the draw, and so on and so on. So this thing is being, well, put into memory and then you can reuse it. Then we have the local variables which is called a, which you have to write in like var so this is var let's say i just call it temp because these things are temporal variables and then of course you can put in i don't know a number or a read or whatever and these things don't stick around this is the most important one once you end your event whichever it is so for example the create the step the alarm whatever it's being discarded and this is very useful because sometimes you don't want the variables to well to linger around because you don't use it anymore you just have you want to do a check bam and then kick it out 
and therefore they are being used for very specific purposes to reset a few things and to reuse them. Of course you can use them let's say in the step event and as var and every time you have a new step 60 times per second if you set it up to 60 then well every time it will be discarded and renewed anew. So this is their purpose and I don't know you see them for example in for loops or for let's say var what is the, a good one? Let's go a is equal to zero. A is smaller than let's say 10 and a plus plus. And then you have your loop, which is doing something. And this is being used in a loop a lot of times because you just run the loop once and then you kick it out because you don't want to use it again. So this is a specific purpose. Or I use the temporal variable, let's say for controllers. So every time you get a new input it's just checking hey is your keyboard being pressed and so on so they have their specific purpose and then they're getting kicked out which is just saving a little bit of memory so what is the next one so we have like for now the instance variable the local or for me temporal variable and the building which is this green guy here let's kick those guys out and there is one which is not being used too much in videos as far as i see and which I call global so dot and then you call it uh, I don't know variable global you can call it whatever you like and assign it a value to this guy is a little bit different so for example once the variable is inside the room let's put Zaron into the room so he can watch us um, then this variable can be used from other instances so for example this guy can read it out now how can you read it out just basically just say hey draw text say we have a global dot and then okay i have to take it out manually how nice um so autocomplete is not working correctly here um and then for example let's say let's run the game and it will just draw above the text of our global variable and as you can see it is zero did i assign it to zero i did yeah i did this is correct of course the the other way how this guy is accessing things from this instance you can do it by controller so you first say hey our object then you put a dot in which is called an accessor so you access things which are inside this instance or this object whatever you want to call it and then let's see if i did a local one yep the health pool which is 100 and draw it and then bam and now you access something which is inside another variable let's see 100 so this is not working for example if once you kill it so once the instance is not in the room there will be no uh, memory allo allocated to that and you cannot access it now and for example now with when we would start it it will throw an error and here we come to the more interesting part bam as you can see constants and these things are even though maybe you you don't have the instance in them it will be still well useful and you can use it and it won't throw an error so this is kind of interesting so let's say for example you want to have a constant and a constant is just called macros so bam you see this yellowish color we call it const and then if for example you say i don't know you give a number of 99 and here you don't have a, let's say an assign and not a semicolon these things are a no-no you just say macros then a constant and then the value you want to put in and that can be a text or also a string so something like this could be blah, blah, blah. but we want a 99 or a, well a number and for example we can go into our player and say hey cons and as you can see it has this dark red color and then it's checking and saying hey cool i want to use my constant and the thing is, as you can see, Zauron is not in the room anymore, but he's still watching. As you can see, bam, 99. So this thing is getting preloaded. And the good thing is these things exist, but you cannot repurpose them. So they are once like, like stamped in there. 
then it's pretty much game over. You can just use them once. They are pretty useful, I don't know, if you want to just set up something from the start because that thing is getting preloaded before the game starts. And then they linger around in the memory. So they are a constant thing which is there. And because they are constants, well, they are kind of uh, memory efficient, so this is pretty neat. And, well, they have their specific purposes, so if you want to set up some things in advance, which are always static, they never change, you, because you cannot really, you cannot change the macros once that's there, then it's pretty much done, then you cannot do anything. And the last one, which is called enum, which is again a constant. You give it a name, I just call it, I don't know, group. Here, if I would co correctly write it, group. Um, and then you can put in some variables and now you see it will get, get a reddish color, but not the dark one, but a lighter one. Let's say first, and then you can put in the second one or a third, it doesn't really matter. You can put in a lot of things because, well, you kind of group them together. As you can see, they have these colors. And how can you access them? Well, once again, group dot with accessor, and then we go for first. So how to complete the works here? Sweet, sweet. So let's start it again. Again, it's not in the room, but still you can access it, which is, which is pretty sweet. And now you're thinking zero. So wait a minute, why is it zero? Because and here we come to the interesting part. We didn't assign any value, so it just says, all right, it's a zero, bye-bye. But, and here's the very important part. Let's say, for example, you assign it to 55 and start it. Then it will go and show you 55, which is, again, a cool little constant thing. Sweet. So here you have it. But you can only assign it an integer. Integer is basically a number, so it cannot be a text like this. This will throw an error. Or let's say 0.1, this would throw an error too. So integers are just full numbers, which are just, I don't know, minus one, two, five, whatever. It cannot be a decimal. This doesn't work. So for example, once we start it, it will now throw an error. Come on, throw it. Oh, it doesn't throw an error. <laughs> As you can see, it shows zero, which doesn't really work. So let's go for, I don't know, 5.1. So if you would put in text in it, then it will definitely throw an error, but here it cannot work. And as you can see, it rounds it down to the integer, which I guess it's handy, but nah, 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 nah. Um, well, that was pretty much it. So hopefully now you understand what the variables are good for, what their uses are. And most of the time you will be just using your inbuilt uh, X and Y's and speed and also on so the inbuilt variables. Then from time to time local variables because you just want to check something once and then discard it. And then of course your instance variables which are the blue guys to what well, use something in your instance and just constantly check and do something and work with them. And the other things which are those constants have their specific uses but just well once you set them up then they're there and bam you can reuse them. But this is pretty much it. I don't know, for example, here you could just say, I don't know, uh, display get height. And then, for example, it will all the time or just once check, hey, what kind of display height are we having here? Let's check it out if it actually does work. So this is just like a, say, short thing. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> it does not want to do that. So. This doesn't work, so forget what I just said. Oh, wait a second. Let's check it out. If I made a mistake, then I'm just curious here because I'm not sure that should be working. I cannot put in semicolons. Yeah, it shows my display height is 1000, 1440. Jesus, I cannot read out stuff. So that was pretty much it. Hopefully that was of interest to you. So as you can see, these things are just shortcuts to be set once and the other ones have a constant use during runtime. Hopefully that was of interest to you and see you next time. Have a good one. One up indie.